Women's youth doubles. 55 competitors in this event. Another big entry. Another big entry. A sculling. lot of good sculling. Um, yeah. Youth sculling here. So this is often an event that produces big shakeups as new young crews get together and find some speed. But crew, uh, crews rarely stay together for many seasons as they get older. So they move on to college rowing, and it's just, again, this is one of those uh, events where you tend to row it once or maybe twice yeah. and then move on. Yeah, so uh, as Eric was saying, you know, you can get some fast boats throughout the entries. Uh, surprising, you know, those when we've got 55 crews in this entry, uh, deep down the field you'll have fast-moving boats who move up. Yeah, so the course record was set, set in 2017, so a little while ago. Uh, 1747 is the course record by D. Evans and C. Sherris. Last year, first place went to Don Rowing, second to New York Athletic Club, and then third to that good Midwestern Sculling Club, very deep, Y Quad Cities. Right now, looks like, uh, again, still a, a bunch of boats to come through here, but uh, b Bow 14, again, as we talked about moving up is in third place, Oak Neck Rowing. But looks like we got our first crews approaching. Bow number four. Bow four in the blue, the blue boat. The blue boat, yep. That's Waterford from Sandy, Utah. They're storming through. Waterford yep. approaching the uh, Cambridge Boat Club here in the blue boat. Yeah, Jessica Miller and Garrison Aris. A lot of good rowing now in Utah, too. Then bow one, that's Don Rowing, down from Canada. Bronwyn Hayes and Manuela Atardo. Both 17-year-olds in this race. Don Rowing in the white boat, passing Cambridge Boat Club right now. Yep. Then bow two is Y Quad Cities. That's Lillian Collins and Sophia Fode. And they're followed by bow three, Founders Rowing. Founders are up from Dallas. So again, we're back to non-coxed boats. So these, the bows of these boats are steering, not with their uh, with a rudder or anything, just with how much pressure they apply to their or one their left oar or their right oar. Yeah. So this is they're they're all three courses going by were really solid, not easy to do. Okay, we've got bow fi bow five coming here. Bow five, the Niagara Falls, from Ontario, another international Canadian entry. And then with the white oars and white boat, that's bow six. Norwalk River from Norwalk, Connecticut. That's Maya Angelkovic and Ella Trudeau from Norwalk. And moving up a little bit, bow nine right behind them, Rochester Rowing Club from Minnesota. Anika Bartucci and Abby Holm from Rochester. Both of them, for them, it's their second head of the Charles, and they've competed together at three youth national championships down in Sarasota. So a pretty experienced crew. Yeah, that's great to see. Okay, bow 10 coming next. Litchfield Hills, Connecticut. Megan Archibald and Tessa Paganini. They were in a U16 quad that took fourth at U.S. Rowing Nationals this year. Then bow 14, bow 14 is Oak Neck Rowing Academy up from Bayville, New York. Alisa Kelly and Kelly Clark. And closest to us, bow 12, that's Notre Dame Rowing Club, Welland, Ontario. Bow 15 in the Red Blades and Red Tops, bow 15 from Potomac. And on the... Outside, uh, Gordon Rowing, bow seven, Blue Oars, from Wenham, Massachusetts. In the middle, bow 13, Ridley College, St. Catharines, Ontario. Rachel Mason and Naomi Cousins. They won silver medal in the U17 double at uh, the Canadian School Championships. Bow eight in the dark boat with white blades. Bow eight is Narragansett. 
And coming behind them, green, looks like green boat, or at least teal uh, tops, bow 11. That's Peterborough, Peterborough, Ontario. Lillian Bleeker and Owen Watkins. Bow 17, first coast from Jacksonville, Florida, storming through. And bow 16 behind them, Founders Rowing from Dallas, Texas, and the Powder Blue Blades. Bow 17, first coast, that's Eva Daniel and Malia Burt. So a few, few more crews coming here, pretty tight on the buoy line. Looks like with some red oars, bow 23. That's Thunder Crew from Richmond, British Columbia. Natalie Frank and Charlotte McGowan. So bow 23 and approaching the Cambridge Bow Club and they're followed 21, Hockaday from Dallas. Bow 20 behind them in the red uh, unis. That's Potomac. And they're followed pretty closely behind by Bow 22. That's the Kent School from Kent, Connecticut. Then Bow 24. Bow 24 is the Groton School. Hannah Galley and Lauren Dubis. Bow 26 is right behind them. That's Redwood Scholars, Sidra Sanders, and Emily Picor. Bow, th bow 31, White Boat, White Blades. That's River City up from Virginia, Emily Costa, and Sumner Kerr. They won the U.S. Rowing Double National Champions this year. They're looking good. Coming next along the buoy line, bow 27. That's Brewster from Wolfboro, New Hampshire. I guess they row out on Lake Winnipesaukee. And bow 18 in the white boat and the red and gray unis. Bow 18 is Haddon Township fr up from New Jersey. Yeah, and the red boat right following them is bow 30. That's Calgary Rowing C uh, Club. That's Calgary, Alberta. Heidi Wallen and Orla Bailey. They were members of the U-17 women's quad winners at Royal Canadian Henley. Okay, coming next, we got bow 29, Hudson River from Poughkeepsie, Caitlin Bien, and Elizabeth Harris. This is their first time, this is a, a new crew, first time that they've rowed together. Then we've got bow 33 coming next, Westminster School, so one of our international crews from Great Britain. Adela Garcia Rodinas and Sofia Sun. Bow 25, the Black Tops, Red and Black Blades, that's South Jersey Rowing Club. And Bow 32 on the inside, Triangle Rowing from Raleigh, North Carolina, Annika Calhoun and Lucy Laborde. And Bow 34 with the Green Tops, Bow 34 is Minneapolis Rowing Club. And Bow 19 closest to us in the white boat with the blue blades. It's bow 19, Fairmont. Mia Favini and Jordan Shanahan from Philadelphia. Bow 38 next, we got Row America Rye. So they have some sculling in addition to the sweep today. Bow 37 with the yellow blades, that's Springside Chestnut Hill. From Philadelphia, Caitlin Kyo and Charlotte Trays. Behind them in the black boat, bow 36, University School from Davie, Florida, Dylan Morris and Audrey Swain. They're two-time junior Florida high school state champions, 23-24, so an experienced crew. Bow 28 approaching the Cambridge Bow Club. Another crew over from the UK, that's the American School in London. Galilea Birch and Paola Ruffini. 
They got a gold medal in the Junior 16 quad at the Ball Cup in 2024. And they're followed by another UK crew. It's bow 39 from Headington. Philippa Lyle and Henriette Smith. Headington have got a lot of entries this yeah, year. They came, they came over in force. Yep, the white white boat, white oars with a small blue stripe. Pushing up behind them in orange is bow 40. That's the Manhasset crew up from Manhasset, New York. And bow 35 behind them in the red boat. Bow 35, that's Dare to Dream, another Chinese crew from Shanghai. And then coming close behind them, bow 46, the white boat in the red oars. Is University School. Oh, that's, oh uh, 46. 46, that's uh, another UK crew from Pangborn. Ruby Malaham and Eve Allen. Okay, bow 45 coming next. Cooper Juniors from Morristown, New Jersey. Um, then bow 41 in the uh, red, white, and blue. Bow 41 is Capital up from Washington, D.C. That's Ellis Dreschler and Tyne McNamara. Okay, in the yellow boat with the blue oars on the buoy line, it's bow 48. GMS rowing, so they're making a good move. Jolene Ortega and Stella Blinn. In the red, it's bow 43, Star Rowing from Derby, Connecticut. In bow 55, North Palm Beach from Juno Beach, Florida, Myla Chance and Victoria Ekstrand. They've been pushing hard. Yeah, they're really they're pushing two, up two the field. Two-time double state champions. Another experienced crew. Bow 42, one of our UK crews from Great Britain, Barn Elms from London, Isabel Jeffries and Sylvia Jeffries. And they're followed by Bow 47 in the blue tops. That's the Port Jefferson Rowing Club up from New York. Silas McDonald and Elizabeth Smith, they're two 13-year-olds here. Nice. Bow 49, Lo coming behind them. Right in front of uh, the boat club here, the cameras. Shipley from Bryn Mawr. Mia Adamtik and Julia O'Connor. So bow 50 is coming next. ZLAC from San Diego, California. Grace Barkett and Ellen Nielsen. Oh, it's Slack. Oh, Slack yeah. from San Diego. <laughs> They're leading these three boats, just approaching Cambridge Boat Club at the moment. Then followed by 54 and 51. 51 in the yellow boat is Great Bay from Dover, New Hampshire. 54 is Ravana from Charlottesville, Virginia. Emma Lau and Kelsey Trossel. So Pro yep. Yeah, approaching the Cambridge Boat Club. This is Kansas City Boat Club from Kansas in the red boat. Kansas City, welcome to the Charles. <laughs> Last half mile. Take it home. Give it everything you've got. Dig deep, Kansas. like coming next around the turn here in the white boat it's bow 53 53 that's going to be regatta point from Worcester Mass another crew from Lake Quinsigamund in Worcester great 
Great place to row. Yeah. Fabulous rowing course out there on Lake Quinsigamund. Yeah, host a lot of the big collegiate uh, and high school regattas in the uh, Northeast. Yeah, and they've hosted Masters Nationals out there too. Yep. Yeah, looking good. Nice course through the uh, arch and off to the finish. Half mile to go. Give Regatta Point a big chair on the bridge. This is Regatta Point. So assuming the results hold, as we talked about earlier, uh, some crews from the back moved up to the front. And it appears uh, Balfour Waterford crew came in first, 1930. But Bow 31, River City crew, second. And Bow 55, North Palm Beach Rowing, was making a big move, third. Yeah, they were moving well when they went they past They were moving us. very were nicely. Yeah. So not a surprise to see them moving up the, uh, the leaderboard. Yeah. Well, what's the unofficial time looking like? 1930. So whoever set the time in, <laughs> in 2017, 2017 that's why it's still left yes. since 2017. They were moving. 1747. But be better than last year's times. Yeah. By 45 but, seconds. Yeah. Okay, so now we're back to the... Uh, Sweep events, women's youth fours, event 52. Another big field, 90 crews. So as we had earlier, we had the U17 fours. They split out into a, their own division. And the, the reason for that is because, you know, we've got 90 crews in the, in the youth fours. So right. we, yeah. 130, 140 total entries between the women's youth fours. That's, there's a lot of boats, a lot of interest in being in the regatta, which yeah. is great. So this is the Tom Tiffany Trophy. Yeah. Course record set by South Niagara, 1758 in 2010. So that record's been wow. out for a long time. Looking at 2023's results, uh, Connecticut, Greenwich Crew, Phillips, Exeter, all three solid crews usually around in and around very competitive programs but this is another one of those races you could have four good rowers come together and come from the back of the pack and uh, do really really well right uh, and it's interesting like you were saying uh, just on the last event eric looking at the times from last year to this year that in the double skulls the times were like a minute faster and if you look the weather conditions from last year, it was, you know, 14 mile per hour winds, 24 mile per hour gusts last year on Sunday here. It's a little different today, yeah. and that really makes a difference on the time down the track. Yep. Good. Not much current, no wind, nice warm, so you don't need to worry about layering. So you can just go out and have some fun. So the first boats are to weld, so we should be seeing them in a few minutes. Top Cruise, Row America Rye, Greenwich Crew again, and Phillips Exeter again. So a uh, few crews from last year seem to be doing pretty well so far. But, again, with 90 entries, it's still early. <laughs> yeah, um, most of the crews haven't started yet, so uh, a lot can change. Like last year, it was, uh, as you were saying, Connecticut Boat Club won the event. They won by 14 seconds, which is... Uh, Pretty dominant performance uh, for these women's youth fours. Yeah, the quality of the racing here is is really solid. They're going to be some close crews. It's 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 abnormal for some uh, for any crew to win by that that margin. Right. So yeah. We're exactly. expecting to see some tight some tight racing. Yeah. We, we've got actually the top 17 programs from last year are all sending crews again this year, although there's obviously with it, with it being youth fours, there's going to be some changes in those crews as, as kids graduate from high school and move on. Um, but there are 
medals for the top five places in this event. So uh, a lot of uh, lot of trophyware to win. Yep, going to be motivated crews as they come come down through the course here. So the, the tactics are always interesting as well because we're, we're looking down the river to the start and it's a, it's a big sort of 180 degree bend that they go through. But so you want to try and hug, obviously, like any racing, you want to take the inside of the bend and taking the inside of this bend, it, it puts you on the outside of the next bend if there's lots of crews involved. So trying to, uh, trying to navigate your way through when there's a lot of crews involved to take as you head to the finish, just a few hundred yards up the other side of Elliott Bridge. It, the, it bends around to the, uh, to the right from here to head to the finish line. Yep, so there need, needs to be some, uh, some, some good steering here, especially when there's crews close by. We've got some good racing to start here. First two crews coming into view, one right along the buoy line. That's blue, the blue boat on the line is Greenwich Crew, and on the outside in the white, white boat, white oars, four. is bow four, Row America Rye, so right next to each other. So four, is really four is moving up very nicely. Yep, looks like even on the outside seems to be uh, passing. We've got to make sure that the, the course is uh, tight here. But some good rowing coming around the turn here and both boats at a nice high stroke rating, smooth racing. So this is Greenwich in the dark boat and Row America y, Rye in the white boat. Yep. Competing. A lot of competi good competition down there. Bow three behind them. Phillips Exeter. Keeping in the clean water. And, and in the following. dark boat, bow number one, that's Connecticut from, uh, from Norwalk. Connecticut just going past Cambridge Boat Club now in the dark boat, dark tops, white blades. Yep, so you can see all the crews coming through this bridge. Uh, Nick, as you mentioned, you got to make the turn from a left turn to a right turn. So now they are uh, all moving over to the other side of the river to hug those green buoys as they make the final turn to the finish line. And when they're spaced out like that, it's easy to do. They've got room to do it. Okay, another good racing uh, set here. Two crews side by side on the outside. Yep, six is on the outside. Seven is on the inside. Sagatuck is six. Seven is St. Catharines. So St. Catharines is on the buoy line. Sagatuck on the outside. And then five with the orange blades. Five is triangle rowing from Raleigh, North Carolina. Finley Scott, Anna Geist, Ellery Eward, Sarah Harper, and Alice Clark. So that's triangle and the orange just passing Cambridge Boat Club right now. Right behind them, bow eight. OKC Riversport from Oklahoma City. And then bow nine. That's Narragansett, up from Providence, Rhode Island. So Narragansett just passing Cambridge Boat Club, entering the last half mile. Okay, next is bow 11, coming around the buoy line, nice tight course, Nobles. Claire Strizieri, Brenna Thomas. Tessa Lewis, Kate Hamilton, CC Shelter. Rowing off of our dock. Bunch of their coaches are uh, CBC members. Good local crew. Bow 12 Speak, behind Speaking them. of local crews, yeah. that's Windsor. Yep. That is Zara Mera, Leila Ness, Leila Ness, Sabina Stevens, and Mog Tater and Gabriella Kuluski. Yeah, they're followed by Bow 13. Green Lake crew from Seattle. And on the outside in the black boat, bow 10. About 10 is Friends Fr of Brookline. Sita Hug, Melanie Ho, Zoe Zucker, Elena Braun Jones, and Anastasia Koloniskova. 
So three good local crews that battle it out all springtime, too, yep. for the, in the high school races. Got bow 14 coming next. Bow 14, that's Annapolis Junior Rowing from Annapolis, Maryland. So Annapolis in the white boat right now, passing Cambridge Boat Club and uh, approaching Elliott Bridge for the last half mile. Coming up next, we are Cambridge Ringe and Latin. That's bow 15. Black boat, hugging the buoy line. Great local crew, can hear the cheering. Looking good. CRLS passing Cambridge yeah. Boat Club right now. Yeah. Half a mile to go, good race. Next, we got bow 17, PNRA Mercer. Followed by bow 19, TriStar from Knoxville, Tennessee. In the TriStar boat, there's Sarah Flynn, Lily Shoemake, Lauren Jones, Karis Landis, and Caroline Brown. Okay, behind them in the uh, white boat with the powder blue oars, bow 18. That's Bromfield, Acton Boxborough, local crew. And bow 16 behind them, Northfield Mount Hermon from out in Western Mass. High school crew. We've got bow 23 coming next. They're making a good move. It's another California crew, NorCal crew. Bow 23, that's Elise Reine, Anna Chechenova, Sadie Zweig, Vienna Ferrano, and Lucille Woods. Yep. And following them up is the crew from right next door, Buckingham Brown and Nichols School. That's Leia, Frain von Hilgers, Haley Zhang, Kate Rice, Lucy Foreman, and Soph Chester. Been rowing together for a number of years. A bunch of them have been in the head of the Charles for multiple years. Looking good. Let's give them a big cheer. Bow 20, approaching Cambridge Boat Club, is Connecticut up from Norwalk. They qualified two boats in this event last year. And they're followed in the white boat, white oars, by Bow 24. Bow 24, that's another Canadian entry, Havagal from Toronto, Ontario. Their rowing program is in its 43rd year at the school. Okay, coming up next, bow 28 with the powder blue oars. Villa Maria Rowing from Malvern, Pennsylvania. Rachel Bauhaus, Paige Devine. Isabel Pilato, Claire Devine, and Julia Holdsworth. This crew raced at Head of the Charles last year and finished pretty strongly. And then crew 26 in the white bloat, the Texas. Texas Rowing Center, Maslow Maycott, Alaya Brockman, Margaret Stromberger, Lydia Gardner, and Madeline Griebel from Texas. Welcome, Texas Rowing Center. You got a half a mile to go. Yeah, looking good. Okay, tight to the buoy line. Bow 33 in green. Bow 33, so that make, is. Nareed. From Rutherford, New Jersey, making a good move. And on the outside, we got bow 31. 31 is River City from West Sacramento. Followed in the green boat with yellow and green oars by bow 29. 29 is Greenwich, Greenwich, Greenwich Academy. Greenwich Academy. And then 27, Orchard Lake St. Mary's from Orchard Lake, Michigan. Bow 25 coming up close behind. Bow 25, that's Prince William crew from Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. And behind them in the uh, white boat, white oars, is bow 30. Bow 30 is Concord crew from Concord, New Hampshire. Yep. 
Uh, got the actions coming fast and furious now. Lots of good racing. All right, about 34. That is the gun school from Warren, Connecticut. And on the outside in the red boat with the white and blue oars, bow 32. Bow 32, that's Blood Street Skulls up from Old Lyme. Blood Street Skulls is the home of the 2024 Olympic gold medalist Liam Corrigan, who was in the four in nice. Paris. Great performance. Bow 36 coming next, Bedford crew, another New Hampshire crew. They're in the blue boat with the... Uh, Red, right, red, white, and blue oars, and then behind them, the blue boat, bow 37. The bow 37 in, in the second blue boat, that's Unionville. Christina Concer, Anushka Aki, Isabella Way, Wahi, Jada Lorelli, and Avalyn Lockhart. Yeah, and then bow 35 coming right by the dock. That's Row LA. Noah Brown, Luca Romero, Lucy Demmer, Navia Rhodes, and Nora Besmagian. From Marina Del Rey. Coming around the corner and approaching the Cambridge Boat Club. This is crew 39, the Pittsburgh crew. Sophia Chevelle, Mara Ricks, Lena Gilbertson, Surya Mann, and Audrey Wirth. So Pittsford approaching the Cambridge Boat Club in the white boat. Yep. Looking strong, a pretty nice high rating. Good line to the buoys and getting ready for the sprint. Then okay. crew 38 with the green blades and blue tops. Crew 38 is Resilient Rowing Club from Fairfax Station, Virginia. In the resilient crew, we've got McGregor Bickle, Lillian Fortin, Madeline Backmare, Eleanor Fox, and Mira McCulloch. Welcome, resilient. Last half mile, resilient. Now coming up, bow 40 in the white boat, or w w black boat, white oars. That's Sacred Heart from Greenwich, Connecticut. In bow 42, behind them with the Powder Blue Oars. That's Gainesville Area Rowing, Gainesville, Florida. Alexa Cade, Macy Gleason, Hannah Jones, Addison Matthews, and Sophie Goldstein. Half that uh, crew placed fifth at U.S. Rowing Youth Nationals this year. All right, in the yellow boat on the inside, that's bow 43, Ann Arbor Huron from Ann Arbor, Michigan. This is their 17th consecutive year at the head of the Charles. And alongside them in the red oars, boat with the red oars, is bow 41, Three Rivers from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So Three Rivers in the red blades, Ann Arbor in the yellow boat. Tight to the buoys coming behind them. Bow 45 from Milwaukee. Another Milwaukee, Wisconsin crew. And then, 40, so 45 in the white boat, and then 47 with the yellow blades and dark boat. 47 is St. Ignatius from Chicago. They were the winners of the Midwest Championships. St. Ignatius passing Cambridge Boat Club right now. The road right downtown on the Chicago River. It's a good place to spend a few, a little bit of time. Yeah, bow 48 coming right uh, across the, by the boat house now. Notre Dame, Denamor from Villanova, Pennsylvania. This boat's all seniors.
In case you had any doubt, they've got Notre Dame in big letters along the side <laughs> of their boat. Yeah. Nice shamrocks on the oars, too. Okay, we've got a uh, boat coming next. The green boat with the green oars. This is bow 44. Bow 44 in the green oars. That's East Bay Rowing up from Barrington, Rhode Island. Yeah, and then the boat to, their, uh, to the side on the outside. White oars, black boat is 46, Stonington Rowing. And the blue boat on the inside, bow 52. Making a move is Newton Country Day School. So local crew just up the river. And then 56, closest to the Boston shore, 56. That's Indianapolis Rowing Club. And 53 beside them, white boat. That is Brewster from Wolfboro, New Hampshire. And behind them, 51, Duxbury Bay Maritime School. The white boat with the white and powder blue decal on the oars. Bow 49 coming next. 49 is Radnor Girls High School crew from Wayne, Pennsylvania. This is their second consecutive year at the head of the Charles. We've got Bow 50 coming up next along the buoy line. That's Lawrenceville School from Princeton. And then the green boat, 54. 54, that's Tabor. Marion, Mass, not too far away, about an hour down the road from Boston. Tabor Academy is celebrating 105 years of rowing. So yeah, they row out on the ocean too, Sipikin Harbor in Marion. Bow 58, Camp Randall from Madison, Wisconsin. Anna Bears, Elizabeth Smith, Marguerite Potter, Harper Schrager, and Beatrice Michalese. Camp Randall, just the last half mile, that's all it is. Push it home, Camp Randall. Bow 60 coming next, one of our international crews, Kings Chester. Francesca Worsnup, Lucy Caldwell, Eva Kenningham, Francesca Ferrara, and Lucia Paletti. One of the top club uh, fours racing on the UK championship circuit. Then right behind them, we've got crews 55 and 59. 55 is Lowell, Lowell High School and in the red tops. And 59 is Albany Rowing Club from Albany, New York. Albany with the orange blades. So that's Lowell going past uh, Cambridge Bow Club right now. And Albany with the orange blades. Yeah, Albany's crew made up of Laisha uh, Balulkar, Catherine Murphy, Evelyn Reich, Anya Miller, and Lucy Cuoma. Got a whole bunch of crews coming now. Yep, Bow 65 coming next, making a good move. Branksome from Toronto, Ontario. Natalie Rollinson, Ali Tessimer, Bronwyn Stewart, Sophie Schofield, and Ava Scott. And then 57 in the pink tops. That's City Island from the Bronx with the white blades and pink tops. And on the outside, 63, the Berkshire School from Sheffield, Massachusetts. 61 with the yellow blades. That's Merriam Mercy Academy up from Pennsylvania. And on the bu buoy line, bow 70, making a move. Austin from Austin, Texas. Yellow uh, stripes, white oars. 66 in the red boat. 66 in the red boat is Charlotte Youth Rowing from North Carolina. In 64, Riverfront Recapture, it's a white boat. And behind them, 62. George School Crew from Newtown, Pennsylvania. Sia Reem, Mackenzie Walsh, Bess Haney, Maggie O'Dunn, and Elizabeth Remus. I think after this Crew one. 71 in the white boat approaching the Cambridge Boat Club. Crew 71 is Westside Rowing Club from Buffalo, New York. 
Lucia O'Bannon, Olivia Zablocki, Riley McFarlane, Willia Bukata, and Haley Stewart. And behind them, the Hun School from Princeton, New Jersey. Boak making the turn right now in the crimson color. Bow 69. 69, yep. That's Middlesex. Local crew from Concord, Mass. Yeah, the rope on the Concord River. Yeah, but it's been a while since they've uh, competed in the head of the Charles. So welcome back, Middlesex. Take it home. Yeah, good, good crew of uh, juniors and seniors. Sophie Shaw, Sophia Sununis, Avery Green, Caroline Ripstein, and Claire Jennings. Seventy one approaching Cambridge Bow Club. Seventy one with white tops, white blades. That is West Side Rowing Club from Buffalo, New York. Lucia O'Bannon, Olivia Zablocki, Riley McFarlane, Willa Bucada, and Haley Stewart. In bow seventy three right in front of us, Swan Creek Rowing Club from Lambertville, New Jersey. Bow seventy five. On the buoy line, Brighton Rowing Club from Rochester, New York. And 76, that's BCC Crew. 76, Talia Stein, Ella Pilot, Testy Martino, Nina Holt, Annalise Bohe. Okay, making a move, we got bow 80. Baylor from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Presley Bade, Kristen Spikerman, Edith Herndon, Philippa Hall and Augusta Smith. They made the finals and medaled this year at SRAAs. Seventy-two coming next. It's the Orange Boat, Naponset Rowing Club, Milton, Mass. And then they're followed by seventy-eight in the red tops and red blades. Seventy-eight. That's Hingham High School. So Hingham in the white boat, red blades. Then coming around on the outside, that's bow 74. Lewis Mills High School, Burlington, Connecticut. Macy Peterson, Yvette Lefebvre, Caitlin Fitch, Juliana DeMichael, and Olivia Kroeger. That's bow 74 right here in the purple boat. Then 77. 77 is Middletown from Middletown, Connecticut. Boat 77, we've got Julia Reynolds, Devin Suprono, Isabel Lincoln, Isabella Behrend, and Scarlett Sahalis. And they're followed by, uh, by bow number 82 in the blue boat, which is New Orleans from New Orleans, Louisiana. Welcome to Boston. Okay, crew 68 approaching the Cambridge Boat Club is Marianapolis from Thompson, Connecticut. This is an interscholastic crew program based out of Thompson, Connecticut. Kira Gillette, Isabella Paglioni, Violet Vinton, Sofia Di Pietro, and Madeline Joyce in this Marianapolis crew. Okay, they're followed by bow 81, the white boat, red stripe, white oars, red stripe oars. Bow 81, Ottawa, an international entry down from Canada. So this is Ottawa going right past the Cambridge Boat Club now. On for their last half mile and uh, taking the bend around the corner after they go through the Elliott Bridge. Okay, coming next, we got Bow 86, looking strong. Good high stroke rating, the red unis, white ba oars. Bow 86, that's Ocean City crew. In the uh, Ocean City boat, we've got Ava Rue, Marissa Trossel, Margot Swift, Marina Zapponi, and Jada Smith. And hugging the buoy line, we got Bow 22, so maybe started out of order.
Holy Names from Seattle, Washington. Passing by right now. Followed in the yellow uh, unis, bow 84. LNN STEM Academy from Knoxville, Tennessee. And 85 in the red boat on the outside. 85, that's City Honors from Buffalo, New York. And 90 on the uh, CRLS. 90, you can tell by the cheers down yep. here, that's CRLS. They passed a few boats. You got bow 88 behind them in the red, red boat. Bow 88, that's Hickory Crew from Chesapeake, Virginia. And bow 89, uh, Emma Willard from Troy, New York. And the white boat on the buoy line, white oars, bow 87. 87 is Sofa King Crossfit. Crossfit. And bow 83 coming up with orange uh, unis, Wilmington Youth. Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. We got bow 79 coming behind them, the white boat. That's Buffalo Seminary passing Cambridge Boat Club right now from Buffalo, New yeah. York. Okay, good racing. So, as with the other races, we had some movers. Bow number four looks like unofficially they finished first. Bow 33, though, moving up to second. 20 seconds back. Yeah, bow 33 was Nerd. Yep. 